You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I, uh, well, I want to just say thank you. Thank you to all of you who are continuing to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I try to keep in contact with you in the description area, let you know what's going on, why I'm making certain videos, you know, just other information. So please read that. And then uh, I also try to get you to watch more videos in there, kind of beg you to click on a playlist and just let it play. But that's another story. I am here to show you the new crazy cooking candy dots maker. Now, it's not new. It's been around a long time and I have had it for at least eight to nine years. I'm guessing around that time, ages eight plus, make candy dot strips and candy dot pictures. Now, this was an item that uh, we actually picked up from uh, one of our watchers on YouTube that many years ago, and, and it was a deal in a parking lot to pick up the crazy cooking. Now, they had mentioned to me that there was a piece in there that was damaged, and I thought, all right, no problem. I'll find this set online. I'll find it on eBay. Started looking then, eight years ago, and I've been looking ever since, and I've never seen this same set ever come up in the last eight years. Now, maybe it slipped by. Somebody listed it. Somebody bought it. Uh, but I have not seen it, and I look continuously so maybe a month ago two months ago i was thinking why not just have the piece made like in a 3d printer so that's what i did so you're going to see now the defective piece and then the new pieces which are going to be tested right now with you today fun and easy to use candy decorator i know it's a lot to say but for me historically it's a perspective on you know just how long it takes sometimes to get these sets and uh i just ramble on all right so Make candy dot strips and candy dot pictures, which I said, there's a peace sign there, kind of a little cool design there, a little swirl there, and then you see the candy dispenser colors. Now, I've even had the refill packs for at least that long as well, too. There is, oh, look what's peeking out of the side. It's a defective piece. It is uh, these refill sets. And just to show you how long I've had these, Look how dusty the box tops are. This has been sitting on a shelf here. I'll just show you. That is pure dust. Now, I will clean this all off. Uh, the item itself needs to be clean. Everything needs to be clean. But I just wanted to kind of get it out here, get started. You know the process. Oh, let's see. Also available is the Candy Deluxe Baking Center Sweet Sensation Station. Hmm. Did I do that one? I know I've done a crazy cookings. All right, so let's see here. Uh, fun and easy to use candy decorator. Make a perfect candy dot. I can't wait to do that. And then I definitely have plenty of refills. I'm ready to open the box, enough talking. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've since cleaned everything off. And yeah, I probably should have started the video with clean stuff, but I don't know. It's all part of my 11 years on YouTube, having so many items and just trying to keep them in clean and in check and then sitting on a shelf you just forget about them all right so let's get into the box now this one i have not forgotten about because it's one that i've been wanting to do for a very long time all right so there's these little what they are the decorator what would you call them templates i would call this a template so you put this over you put your sheet down and you put your template on top and then you can make this little design which is on the cover of the box and that looks like a half moon or a banana. I don't know. There's the swirly that was there. I'm guessing the refill packs have some more of that. There's that. I'll wait to show you the defective piece. All right, so a little dirty here. A little dirt. We need to clean that. Well, let's just go. Okay, inside. Now that's dirty. So that's going to all have to be washed. There's just a layer of stuff. Okay, now I'm guessing everything else in here. I'm assuming everything else is in here. Oh, there's the broken piece. Okay, so I've got the instructions, very important. All the pieces. What's the broken piece? Look, it got chewed on. Maybe it's better I just leave it there and zoom in. Something ate it. Now I'm guessing it's a dog because the teeth marks look really pointy and they were able to bite through this plastic almost that's almost all the way through there's a little tiny pinhole there so yeah 
this should be a rounded shape. So, oh, and here's another shape on the back of that. So that's it, enough subs. So what do we do next? Well, we need to first determine we have all the pieces, then clean it all. Okay, so let's just move it all over here. There's the base. Goes this way. Okay, that looks like it's still fixed. Then a little roller. And it should go here. There we go. Okay, so you can roll out the little sheet of paper. Hopefully there's some of that in the whatchamacallit. And this is the little designer. Okay. Then there's this. The plunger. That locks in like that. Ooh, the ring. And then the tip. Okay. Okay. And then the two arms. I don't want to put it together yet. I really want to get this thing clean. So that's going to go in here. Let's see if it'll temporarily hold. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall. And then, oh, this goes over this. Okay. And what else? What else? What else? The bowl. And then, yeah, it says wash everything. And then two utensils. So I have a complete item. Unlike the last one I showed you. And it originally came with one, two, three, four packets, wax paper sheets, one, two, three, four, five designs. And it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five. I wonder if the person we picked this up from still watches these YouTube videos. I really don't know. Interesting to find out. All right, so before I show you my replacement pieces, let me get this all washed. This I do off camera, but yes, I will spend time now cleaning all this. I'll come back and then I will dry it with you and we'll talk a little bit more and we will continue on with the process. All right, so here we are. Uh, if you hear this sink and it's making that sound, that's because it's called an ejector pump sink, so. Which I installed, by the way. So basically, I just kind of give everything a little scrub down. I'll leave it in the sink. It's gonna get rinsed down there. Okay, that's going to cover the drain, which we don't want. No reason to wash this broken piece, but we're not going to use it. I'll be careful with this. I don't want to get too much uh, of the scrubby side of the sponge on the label. This, uh, you know, I've seen you, I've seen in shown in video me washing stuff. This is not new, but eh, once in a while, this is what I do. This is really dirty. I think I've had videos where I show you all the way to the cleaning up after. And it's just, there's gonna be other stuff. That actually uh, never touches the, the candy, but. All right, so then what I do is I take one of my large trays, like you kind of see off camera here. And then I'll take some paper towel. And I'll lay it down in the tray like that. And I'll take the pieces. And I'll just set them in there. And 
and they'll soak. See, quicky quick. And that's the whole process. Back to the video. All right, so I actually filmed me washing. I don't know if I'm gonna put that clip in, but I did. It was pretty dirty. Just feels better to have a nice clean squeaky clean item all right so the pieces here let me do this let me take those pieces out you can study them i've had these both made for me two separate printing processes because i have no idea i've never used a 3d printer uh i had to take my measuring calipers and and then measure all the different specs so that this fits into this like that but the other way see and then I couldn't get this lime green. I even tried to get lime green. I could get the lime green, but I didn't want to buy a whole spool when I only needed a little bit. And then, uh, actually, then I had someone do the actual work for me, the part, render it, whatever you would call it. I don't know what you'd call it. And then had them printed. One was printed at the library it was like a dollar for the library the library not by me by the person that printed it you just send them a the little drawing and then they uh print it for you for like a buck depending on the size and the complexity so i don't know if they're gonna work but you know it's a little candy dot and then the filament you use needs to be food grade that kind of thing but since we are not doing full production commercial food, it was not as much of a concern. There's no heat in the process that I know of. So I'm gonna test. There's a tiny little hole in there. This one has a little bit bigger hole. I'm gonna test this one first. Look, see, made it to fit right in there. And there we go. All right, now. Let me get this out of here, come back, and we'll put this all together. Okay, a few little things that I needed to dry better. This, so you're probably just filling a little bit in there because this is a big device. I'm guessing it doesn't take that much. So let's use the first tip. If this tip works, then I'm good to go. Okay, that's locked on. All right. I know it doesn't match, but I had to overcome that. these just yeah these just slide down once they're in you should be able to just pull that out pull that out there we go so then it, it kind of bows out just a little to get into different locking positions but you know what I think it should go the other way but this one I'm just guessing go this way and this way doesn't really say but now I can do this and it's turning more towards this and, and locks in here as opposed to the opposite direction all right Whew, all right there we go that 
This, yeah, looks like they never use this because it's still officially taped. So I'm just going to temporarily put that on. No easy way to get that out, is there? Unless you do this. No. You probably got to loop it in and loop it around. So I'll wait for that till I get to that step. And this one here. It's made the, those little, all these little points down here are allowing you to turn it or move it in any direction. This section right here goes in this little pin. And then that allows you to do that. Then you put your little picture on there. Okay, these here, these here. I'm set. I'm good to go. They call this the trigger, by the way. Locks them there, and you can make your little candy dots. Here we go. Okay, so I was reading this. Let me read it to you. Well, I'll tell you what. I didn't give you a full shot of the instructions. There is one page. Probably not the best way. Let's hold this up here. Let's do this like I always do. This way someone can pause, enlarge the video, probably on a PC. Phone would be difficult, but it's probably possible. And then here's the backside, how to clean it and washing and all that. So we hopefully you could figure that part of it out. So it did say, remove this from the base. Okay, and then get your paper ready. such old tape. Okay, then make sure this is locked in. And then put this back on. And then pull this over. And then slide it under the cutter, it's called. I don't see no cutter there, maybe just the ripper. Yeah, you just rip it. Okay. Let's get rid of that little piece with the tape on it. Okay. So that's set. Okay. I think that's it. Good to go. Looking at the box. Yes, everything matches to the box. And I am now ready to mix my first, well, let's check out a refill kit. So I know what I'm getting and I know what I have to work with. Because this just says, candy mix green. I want to see those other colors. We'll check out the refill pack next. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you're probably saying to yourself, boy, this guy goes to great lengths, huh? But maybe you're not saying that to yourself. Maybe you're saying, boy, this guy's crazy. Well, I look at it differently. Okay, so the instructions in this are just a two-page, which would really be the page one and page two of their big fold-out. This is yellow. Ooh, that looks pinkish. And it's puffy, but that's okay. Uh, pink, yes. And then blue, but it's ripped. Now, come on. How did I get a ripped one? And then green. And then a roll. But they don't give you any of the little papers. So I'm glad we have all of those. So that's what's in... The refill pack. All right, so I have all the colors. So I'll get rid of the green from this. This is what the refill packs look like, and that's the original pack. So I have everything I need to make all my color dots. So now I am much closer to getting set up to make candy. I'll be back. Okay, see now these instructions are different. Look at this instruction. It said cutter, pull to the cutter. But this one shows the cutter. It is the cutter. It's serrated underneath there, so you need to pull this all the way through to there. Past the cutter. So well, that's how you're gonna you're gonna make them here, and you're gonna pull it through, which is not easy to do. The paper folded up. Okay, so now I just need a little bit further so I can grab it. Probably easier to do this now than have the candy on it. Okay, there we go. So that is the cutter. Let's see. That makes sense. Okay, much better. Learn as we go. Learn as we go. Okay, I know you're saying this guy takes forever. What is taking so long? Well, there's some discrepancies. One, the measurement is two and a half of these. So there's a margin of error there for the actual candy that you're making. Two and a half, there's no half mark on there. So what is two and a half? Uh, 
hard to know. I wish I just said one teaspoon or one tablespoon so you know exactly, but we're going to have to guess there. And then two, after we got this all set, it did say to leave, like after you put your dots on, leave some room to pull so that you can rip it. And it's supposed to dry on here before you actually try to pull it through because there's limited room here. So hopefully that little cutter doesn't hit your candy if they're too tall. They got to be just the right height. And then here, that's step one. Step two is deciding on the pattern sheet. Okay, so if you want to do a rainbow, this in a rainbow, you have to mix all of the colors, but you can only mix one color at a time, use up that color, and then mix the next color. And then when I was taking this off originally, I thought to myself, wow, this is really difficult. There's nothing on the back to put your finger through to try to bend this little cardboard piece. So I figured I would need a tool. Okay, three tabs are in. To get the fourth tab in without really ruining your cardboard, you got to kind of just put something underneath it to bend it, okay? And then the next discrepancy is this. Step three, pull candy press out to extend position. You're pulling this out so that you can fill it, right? And you're gonna flip this over and you're gonna fill it. But the picture shows it completely vertical. It's impossible to get it into that position when you have that extender out, okay? So now I'm gonna have to fill it in this position, which should be okay. I'm not sure why they did that. Someone wasn't thinking. All right, so I decided to use the original tip. Why? Because I want to test it. That's what this video is all about. It's me testing uh, the unit. Now, it just goes to show you that I didn't test this eight years ago. I could have just done one of my refills, tested it, seen if it worked, worked, made the video. I wanted some backup in case this doesn't work at all or it leaks too much or there's an issue. So I'll have to try a few before I get to the final results. All right, I'm ready to mix. That was all that to tell you I am ready to mix. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'll do the green in here. I will come back. Let's clear some stuff out. I got everything ready and then I will get started. Okay, I'm not ready to start. I'm getting more and more confused because right here it says one packet will make approximately 75 to 100 candy dots. That's a lot. So I don't even know if I'm going to make all the colors. That would be 400 candy dots. But it says... You can use half a packet with half the water. All right, so I could scale this out on my scale, easily do that, but what's half of two and a half when you're not using actual measurements? So I thought, all right, let's just see if this goes to milliliters and then we can work it that way. Uh, because I tried to do half a tablespoon and that's more than half a tablespoon. So it'd be a little more than half of a half of a tablespoon. Does that make any sense? So we're gonna go one, to, I can't imagine uh, a young person trying to do this and figure this out. Half of a half. Okay, so it's 10 milliliters. So five milliliters of water. I'm not going to no longer, I'm going to no longer use this. I'm switching to milliliters, so I know five milliliters will do half of a pack. So now let me grab my scale, grab my scale, and measure out half of a pack. All right, here I am. I zero it out a bowl, so I know, so I can divide this in half. I have to pour the whole thing in, get the measurement, and then we'll determine what half of this is. So it's it's one a little about one ounce. So now if I can bring this down to half an ounce, we've got it. It's close. It wants to change. There we go. So that one and that one. All right. So we need five milliliters of water, right? And five ounces of material, of mix. And that's how I'm going to do this now. So I'm going to try each of the tips and we'll see which works the best or at all. We'll see. All right. Fortunately, this goes to five milliliters. So let's move it to this bowl. It's such a small amount of water. Now it says use it right away. It doesn't say use warm water. Here, let's get you right in there so you can see how pretty that color is. The blue, I think that was, or green, I don't know. It 
So if this doesn't work, we'll switch to the black tip. If that doesn't work, we'll switch to the green tip. I have to just, they said actually this was a pretty complex thing because the tip is specifically designed on the inside, right? And the amount of flow and all of that, so we'll see. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect, but we gave it a shot. That's all that matters. more in there. I'm trying to get it all in. I'm switching sides of my spatula. Okay. Happy with that? Yes. Let's put this on. I know it looks funny. Okay, tip is on. Made some spilling. Let's just turn it over. Let's see if we get clicks now. Each click is supposed to be a candy dot. Now, before I do that, I don't want to get myself caught here. I need one of these down. So what holds that in? There should be something that holds that in so you don't have to worry about it moving. Am I supposed to put that underneath? Ooh, it's starting to come out already. Didn't notice. All right, let's get a click. Start from the center, I guess. Okay, my, my dots are connecting. That's one click, so I just must, I probably have to wait. Okay, let's get away from that now. Let's move to a different spot. Oh boy. Looks like we're going to have some kind of strange rainbow pattern. Okay. Just let it fall out on its own. I'm going, trying to go every other one. <laughs> okay, now it's coming out of the side of this tip. So there's probably, it's probably leaking somewhere. Oh, or it hit <laughs> Oh boy, it must have hit yeah, like a, whatchamacallit, a dry spot or an unmixed spot, I don't know. Right there, ball, ball, perfect. Oh, right on the spot, all right. Okay, it's down all the way, so I've clicked out. All right, so that did not make 50. Uh, so <laughs> something's going on there, but let's just leave that. Let me clean this up. I gotta wash it now. Well, let's just look. Let's visually, you and I, take a look and see what's going on on the inside. We'll see if it's leaking somewhere. It feels like there's still a lot in there. So let's uh, let's take it off here first. Okay, so yeah, there's still a lot in there. The plunger itself, I mean, there's a margin of extra that sits in there. There's quite a bit. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at it. You're not. So let me do this. Let me just take one of these full sheets of wax paper and show you how much is in there. Look. I'm just going to use it here. Actually, this looks cooler to me than the dots, but that's not what we're here for. Okay, so this tip is no good. There's just too much stuck in there, and I think I, you know, exhausted my measurements. Oh, I got plenty of this, so let's just, let's just do this. 
are making giant candy dots. Why not? Here. Now, um, I'm thinking now, this could explain why I have not seen one of these. <laughs> and this is the only one that I've ever seen in a long, long time. See if we can get it out of the center. Okay, I'm not going to come back till these dry. So I can ponder on this dilemma. But at least we have something, right? I will be back. Okay, it has officially been a full day. Yes, I was not able to finish the video yesterday. So it's actually given everything quite a bit of time. I did check in later and the candy still wasn't uh, hard on the larger pieces. It's still kind of like a mushy candy. I've not checked the smaller pieces. And here's what I've done. I'm going to be switching to this tip first. We'll try that one. And then I'm going to scale things out. So I'm going to do a little more prep time so I can get through this with you quicker. So let's bring it. Here, let's just do this. Let's bring the scale over. And then let's turn that on. Let's zero out a bowl. And then I can do each color. Like this is the yellow. We'll see how the yellow goes. Zero. Now I feel a little more confident. I know it's working, but it's not working. It's, it probably wasn't originally intended to work. Oh, there we go. Remember, it should be 0.5. But just to be safe, I'm going to bring another ball out just to zero it. Wait, was it 0.5? This one seems like it's heavier. This bag seems like it's got more in it. 0.4? It's not. It's really close. Look at that. Okay, so it looks like I can now. That one says 0. 0.6. So, here we go. The mixes are not even. Or it's the glass jars. The glass... Ah, yes, I have two different glass containers. So now I must find the match. Okay, that's a match to that. So let's zero that. See? Little things like that. 0. 0.7. Okay, let's put this here. 0.5. That's what it should be. So 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So it's just a hair between the two. So let me just take a little bit out. Okay, so that's the yellow. Let's put the yellow back there. That's the yellow. And then the original one, it said green, okay? But that really did not look green, did it? All right, so then let me grab another bowl, which is zeroed. And actually, I'm gonna need that bowl. So I'm gonna take this one out, put it in this one. I know it's right. Put that by the yellow. And now this one says the blue. Although that first candy didn't look like blue to you. Let us become a real experiment. So I should just be able to do this, be confident in the measurement. Okay, we'll take a little bit out. Look at that, that tiny bit was the difference. Okay, what's going on? I didn't take that much out. Okay, so that is the blue. All right, and the last one is the pink. All the same, all the correct bowls. Okay, so that's 0. 0.5. All right, I think we're good. Let me uh, move this out of the way now. I've got all that measured out, so I've got all the colors ready to go. Let's get this out of the way. I'll come back now. I'll get set up with the black. And I will uh, do another color. Okay, so let's take a look at this candy back here. And 
it's really stuck. Okay, so that's not even usable. How about one of these dots? Let's just check to see if the dots come off. Okay, the dots do come off. You get a little paper, which would not be uncommon for this type of candy. Let's just try one. Okay, it's very soft. Let's peel this off. Remember they said you can go past the cutter. Okay. All right, so let's leave that there. I'm going to do five, remember five milliliters of water. Okay. Here is yellow. I have the black tip on. I will show you. Okay, so let's remember what they said. Pull this up. And let's do that. Then we will fill. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, that's good to go. And then let's get back down here now and mix this up. I'm gonna be very careful, try to mix everything, because even the tiniest lump will block the, the miniature hole they have in the tip. Okay, yeah, that's supposed to be yellow. It looks just like a milk candy, like a milky white. Okay, remember, work fast, work fast. There's no way that's yellow. Now this one looks a little, well, it's hard to tell, but looks a little um, more liquidy, I guess I want to say. Okay. Test tip. Try it here first just to see if it works. Let's see if we don't struggle. Let's put one right there. Oh, it's coming out. Okay, I'm talking too much. Boy, it's so hard to do the way they have this thing set up with this paper. Okay. This one's working better. It's just now it's, it feels like even with all the mixing I did, boy, this is uh, this is so difficult to work with. Okay, you want to just do that and then you want it to stop. All right, I'm gonna take it off this machine. Okay, let's just see if we can drop them here. Yes, just drop some. That's yellow, everybody. Do you see this here? That's supposed to be yellow. That's the closest thing to a dot. Okay. I don't see how they say that makes that many. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna keep going now. So now I'm gonna wash this, come back and do another color. Okay, so now is the yellow. I have the green tip, as you can see, which I will need to take off anyway, but it's on the machine and ready to go. Let me just grab it. Now each of these, uh, pieces that I had made. Now this one has a, it looks to be just a little bit smaller. Remember I was telling you the printing part. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a half match because I feel like I'm spending all this time 
and might as well just do the whole thing. I got a whole extra pack, right? I know it's 10 milliliters of water, so let me just see if I can break this down. But from my perspective, I've done these other other sets just like this one, and the same things, kind of the same things happen. It's a very difficult process, I think. Could be why, like I said, there's very few of these around. Okay, 10 mil. Now this one is the pink. Now that looks like pink. If that other one was yellow, and you can't tell me that it somehow dissipated its color in the bags. I just don't believe it. But what I'm going to do, though, is I'm only going to pour half in. Maybe a little more. And then when you clean up, there's so much left in there that just does not come out. I think the whole plunger system is lacking. Okay, that's the nicest looking one so far. I'm not going to even use the the system on the top. It's very cumbersome. This this uh, where you keep the little decoration. this I was gonna do anything now and I was telling somebody and trying to learn this system I'd probably just put it down on the countertop put another uh, little oh, I don't have it okay hold on a second I'll tell you what let me just start and then I'll see so here we go So I feel like the hole on this one now is too small. I have a little tool. I can see if I can go a little bit bigger. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. I think that's the correct size. I think that's it. I think that's what they're supposed to be. If you look at this, let's get this off of here. It's a nuisance. I'll tell you what, just for practice sake, look. I'll just put one dot on this. That's perfect. I'm not supposed to do it right on this, but I just wanted you to see we got it. All right, so let's let's wipe that off so we could save it. And then I'm gonna grab the roll. I have a whole other roll off to the side from the refill kit. Remember? Let me just put a piece on here. It's been rolled up for so long. I mean, even the pink, the color looks so pale compared to the packaging. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Boy, what do they call this? Batten zero? I'm batting zero on these. There we go. 
That's most of it. Yeah, I'm just not, not feeling it. We got the right size. It's just, it's impossible to work with. So let's go back to this. It just moves too much. And there's no way you're getting this wax underneath these lips. It would be next to impossible. But let's try the impossible. See, it moves. Yeah, I move one, it moves the other. Okay. Let me fill this up again. Go way up there. Happy with the overall, but a hundred. And then look, look at everything. I'm gonna show you now, almost 50% of it is stuck inside on all three tips. This is how it ended up. I think they have an issue with this set. It's already starting to set. I feel it. The set is starting to set. That's not much. Most of it is inside. And I have no idea why. It's done this with all three. The manufacturer one and my two custom ones. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this. Well, the one good thing is we have the right size dots. Oh, that's it. All right. Let me clean it off. Oh, the tip, well, the tip came off too. Let me clean it off and uh, do another color, so at least we can get all the colors represented here. Okay, uh, slightly frustrated. I can only imagine how, at the time, kids would be. So here I'm thinking, you know, this would be the easiest way to do this. Don't rely on that other system. This will keep it flat. It won't move. Okay, and then I've got my own wax paper. Because I really do want to make a shape for you. I'm beginning to think they should have just made the whole thing square. Like this. Where's it going to go now? I challenge it to move. Okay, this to me, besides that terrible tape placement, is the way to go. Okay, and then studying the little uh, tips that were made and the original tip, I mean, they're, they're almost exact. But what I'm thinking is going on is that this should have a gasket that seals to this. So what I did is I added some uh, tape and it's kind of like a softer tape, almost like a rubbery tape so that it seals this. Now I looked at the paperwork, looked at the instructions, and that's sealed. There should be something that seals this to this. There's just too much margin of error there with the um, with this very thin and liquidy material. That's my opinion on that. And it could be why, again, these are hard to find. It's frustrating. I could see it being very frustrating for the parents trying to get this to work for kids and the kids are like this thing doesn't work at all okay so now I'm gonna go half batch again so I don't waste as much and we'll see maybe now with that tip the way I have it it's gonna seal that there needs to be a seal there okay that's a little too much water Mix it in there a little crazy cooking. 
Bowl. Hopefully now we get a decent amount. I can make a few things and we can really see what this does. This looks exactly like the green. I'm gonna open up that other box and grab a green. Maybe I got, I'm, I'm almost thinking that they had it labeled wrong. <laughs> Let me just do one quick check here. This should fit on a little tighter now. Right there, nice. So hopefully this creates like a seal between the two pieces. The only way we know is if we try, and that's what I've been doing. Okay. Now, I've had many people, well, not many, a good amount of people say, oh yeah, I had that particular item as a kid, and it did this or it did that, or we didn't do this or we did that. I'd like to know if anybody had this, maybe. You remember the same things or had the same situation let's just see if we can get one design down one color with my new technique we know it's the right thickness Oh, I feel just squished. That pushed too much there. Yeah, there's just too much margin of uncertainty. I do feel like it's working a lot better though. Okay. I mean, it's better than what we've gotten. We have to agree to that. By the way, I've had a few taste tests and it's pretty good candy though. I would say, barring all the other issues I'm having, the candy itself is pretty good. Those look perfect. That one looks terrible. down all the way let's just take a quick look and you do have to wash it every time okay it is a little bit better there's still some there but since there's no like serious contact between the two that's why I'm losing some so all right let me uh let me grab the green from there I want to wash this one more time and let's try the green again okay I am back I grabbed the full bag of green and then here was the one that said green so I took a little bit and I actually put it on my finger. Let me see. I put it in here. And I took a dab of water. And it surely did look blue. That's blue if I've ever seen blue. I thought I was going crazy. I thought maybe oh, I made a mistake. No, that's what's going on. Okay, I'm going to say the gasket improved it probably by at least 50%. I was thinking maybe I can add a little bit more tape. I'm using this green electrical tape is what it's called. 
And now where's my scissors? Scissors are gone. I'm gonna add one more row around the underside to kind of, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to try, because now that I'm noticing it, yes, I'm gonna have to do something completely different. I'm gonna grab a different tape. That's a bigger tape that I can put full pieces over the top so I have a better um, layer there. So I'm gonna do that. But in the meantime, midterm, in the short term, I'm done cleaning. So that's all I was here. I was just coming to tell you what I was doing, that I checked out one color. I'm all set. I'm gonna do a whole thing of green. I'm gonna redo this with something that's completely over and softer in material. I'll be back. Okay, so I got some duct tape. It's a bigger, thicker tape. And I might be able to just get away with one piece and I'll form it to this. Yeah, see this, this fits in there pretty good. And it's snug, I tested this to the other one to see if it was snug on the actual system and there's no movement on that one or the original. I'm confident that it has nothing to do with that. It has way more to do with just the design. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the inner circle. I even check my measurements just to see how accurate. And everything was pretty spot on. Okay, so now look what we have. So now that's a perfectly flat seal. It's putting a little pressure on it. I think I'm just gonna put one more piece. So that's on there. And I just cut around. That I'm doing with a razor blade. So that I'm not gonna show you. I'm always cautious with that. I'm gonna leave it kind of crudely cut. Okay. I think we got it. That's done. Move everything out of the way. Get my measuring cup. We're gonna do a full green. We're not gonna hesitate. We're not gonna. We're not gonna let it, let us bring it. Not gonna let this bring us down. We're just gonna move on. Ten. I hope this one is green. I have proved now that that green was blue. Oh, there's just so much stuff off to the side. Pieces of tape, all kinds of stuff. Double check that, that's right on. I think I'm gonna use the flat side. Ooh, it's green this time. Now that almost seemed like more powder. I know the consistency I want, so let me just, it's just not enough water. You know, just my luck. Nope, now it looks blue again. Close. A little more water. Yep, it's got a pour. Wow. Just my luck, the last mix is not working.
Yep, good. Okay, so now let's get this on here. Let's put this in. Now remember, this is a full mix. Oh yeah, look at that, good consistency. This has been a set that uh, has been rather challenging. on with the new gasket. Let's take it off. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good sealed all the way around. Okay, let's, uh, well, let's do some on this first. Let's slide this through. You can't see it, so here we go. down here. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. Here we go. Tell me that's not blue. It's already struggling. It's already down. So all of that leaked in there. Even with my gasket. Hmm. All right, let's see. Maybe I can... Well, let me open it up with you here so you can just see how, how this is working. Look at that. Every single time, every single tip, can it be that way? I don't know. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I think I'm done. I don't think I need to show you any more in regards to that. So let me clean this up, come back, and then I will wrap it up with you. There's some things I could taste, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, that last um, washing is done. I'm not gonna make any more. Not that I've given up, but I think we've tried as much as we can here in regards to the system. I think the system, uh, there's too much water, then you're going to have it too runny. Not enough water, it's not going to go through the tip. There's just so many variables that uh, are hard to really resolve. Now, I will say, the ones that I made earlier, like this pink one, I don't think it's going to come up. Oh, it does. It's still soft, though. So how I always ate these just by taking the piece of paper like this. And you just bring it up to your teeth. I mean, just kind of scrape them off. Now that works. Mm -hmm. The green blueberry is good. Now even the ones that I ate, the regular ones, the real ones, it would still scrape paper up. I have to say though, the flavors are excellent. That's one thing I can say. The flavors are really good. Now this here, look, I mean, we got something that resembles the box, but the colors on the box are so vibrant. The colors here are, I don't know, what would you say? Very weak? Weak, would you say weak? Let me, let me wheel this back. Uh, I wanna try a few more. All right, so overall, I'm going to say it worked because I do have candy dots. Is it finicky? Extremely finicky. But I will say all the other ones, all the other makers like this particular dots maker, I've had similar issues. It's very difficult to 
dial it in. So I can't imagine being a kid and trying to and getting this and trying to get this to work. I, you know, honestly, I don't think it really mattered. I think they just ate whatever was on there, right? Just eat it. That's the whole thing because that's what I want to do now. This thing is finicky too. But I will say, none of them got broken in any way. And I have a sheet of candy. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that. I'll let that sit a couple hours. I can clean, edit, come back, and then I'll wrap it up with that. Give that a taste one more time. Lots to clean up. I do want to say thanks for watching, though. So I'll be back with a final, final comment. All right, well, here is my final, final thoughts. Now, in that time, it's been a whole other 24 hours on this, so I had time to think about it. I actually went to editing, and the videos, if you've reached this point, is over an hour. And, uh, and plus, the candy is not drying. It, it took a long time for it to officially dry. So, I don't know, too much water. Maybe it was the mixes that are causing all these issues. It could be. It could very well be just that. And then, overall, though, I think the flavor is probably the best part of these little candies. So, that part of it, I enjoy. Now, this came out okay. I had to, remember, I had to tape it down. And then I'll just uh, untape it. And you will see, it's all nicely stuck. At least you could see that I accomplished some kind of star design there, right? Now, do they peel off? Let's just see. I haven't tested these. Yes, these come off real nice. All right, so in that regard, this wax paper that I provided is much better. Let's see this one. Do these come off? They do not. So, I don't know. What do you think it is? Yeah, when you eat these, they're mainly eating paper. But when you eat these, they all just pop right off. I can't say for certain exactly what's going on there, but I think we've tried it. Now, if by chance another one of these comes up on eBay, I will probably get it just because I think I want to try it one more time. Now, I've tried it three different times with three different tips. I actually got a pretty good result, and uh, I'm happy with that. But I just think overall it's really difficult to work with. It was difficult to use this mechanism inside and to try to line it up. And then it's coming out. If it's a little too thin, then it just uh, goops on. So I think you got a good idea of what's going on. I do. And if you appreciate uh, different kinds of candy makers like this, then you'll know I've been through this before with other candy dots makers. So other than that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.